train your mind. Yes, train your mind. Your mind, you are craving most likely. There are many reasons why we crave food, but one of the big reasons is because your brain is wired to crave certain types of food. Okay? Um, Stephanie saying, love it. Try me first, least to carry around. Yes, that's really, there's a very interesting one. And you, you notice that you start to spend your time with things that really, it's interesting for you. No, not just giving to your cravings. Now, um, yeah, so train your mind. The reason that, one of the biggest reasons that we crave food is because our brain is wired to work certain ways. Our whole system, it's, it's trained to behave, to crave that, that piece of cake, to, to crave the burger, let's say, whatever it is, or to crave eating more, overeating for, you know, in your main meals. So when we, the, it, it just means that your brain is working fine and you, your body is working fine. They took a lot of life experience and every single experience of life contributed for you to be who you are and be right here, right now, okay? So if your brain is wired to think like that, you can rewire the brain to Think differently. You can train your mind to think differently. We can literally change the, the matter of the brain. So how do we do that? We do through meditation. It's one of the many ways you can train your mind. The most effective that I find quickest way, train the mind. And you can do this through meditation, through yoga. Um, and the, the the good thing about meditation is yoga, and yoga is you work also on clearing the subconscious mind. Now think about the subconscious mind as a big, um, big film of your entire life, right? That it took everything, every single experience is recorded there, even the one that you don't remember. So. This is your subconscious mind. When our subconscious mind is packed up, think about like a big warehouse packed up stuff. There's no place to put things in there anymore. What can you do? There's no space. So we start to put outside of the warehouse, right? So there's a, that's what happened when, when our subconscious mind is so packed and we don't clear it, we start to act unconsciously we start to react to things and when we when we experience emotional eating and we cannot control ourselves this we it means that we are reacting we are reacting we don't know we lost the control of action so by clearing the subconscious mind and training the mind through yoga and through meditation and through repetition then we start to get back into power. And it takes time and takes repetition, repetition, repeat. I'm not talking about meditation once a week. I'm talking about meditating every day. If, you know, the more you, the more you train, the more results you're going to see. Now, I don't want you to just take this class, uh, this master class and be on the paper. I always say, like, try by your own experience. Don't trust what I'm saying. Try by yourself and you, you'll see. I think I know, I know it works because I see it happening many, many people with students, with myself, and it does work, but you need to put some effort there. And it, it does not take time. It does not take much. You know, you can literally um, take a few minutes a day, five starts with five minutes. Kundalini Yoga is such an advanced technology that it, it brings you quicker results. So um, if you practice every day, five minutes, you start to see some, some difference there. Okay. Um, my experience, I did, it, it, it wouldn't even pass through my mind that I had to train my mind, that I had to train myself to not crave food, you know, to really bring balance to my body. No, I, 
I was on the team of those that try all sort of diets, the counting calories, meal planning, meal replacements, everything. But once I start to train my mind, things start to get back into flow. And I did as it was so natural that one day I realized, oh, I'm not craving this anymore. How crazy is that? And I, I have, you know, I have students that tell me, um, yeah, all the time, this type of experience, I realized I'm not craving it anymore. And that that's amazing. You no, know, the first time I realized that. So it, it does, it does happen.